Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Today I am answering a question I get quite frequently and that is, what supplies to buy for watercolor if you are just starting out? So let's dive in and go over my supplies that I use and I, to be honest, the supplies can be for beginner, intermediate or advanced because this is what I use and it's all for $50 and it'll get you going for months and months and months. Alright, let's dive into supplies and again, all of this is right at about $50 and it will keep you going like this palette that we're going to talk about. I have had this now for at least five years. Um, I just barely ran out of one of the colors in it that I need to replace, but again, five years. So let's go over this palette first. It is a Winsor Newton palette. I will link it below. Um, Amazon has a great deal on it right now and it is for like $19 and some change. So this is the first thing you need. Nice thing about it is it comes with 14 colors in there. You have your um, mixing tray built into it, which is also nice. So you can pull your colors from here to here. It's nice and compact. To be honest, I used to have a really big watercolor palette in college and once I got this, I just kind of put that in the closet. I have no longer used it because I love the simplicity and compactness of this. So first thing is your palette and I will link this one below. And we'll write this down just so you can kind of see the running tally of how all of this adds up to about $50. So our watercolor palette is Winsor Newton and Again, it is $19.95 and this one is through Amazon. So some of it's gonna be from Amazon, some of it's gonna be from Michaels. Those are the two stores we're using today. None of it's sponsored. This is just where I've gone to get my supplies. Okay, next up, let's talk about your paper for watercolor. I actually don't have with me right now um, the brand that I love to use. I need to order some, actually I'm out of it. But the brand I use is Canson and it's watercolor pad um, and again this paper is so good for not only beginners but just everyday watercoloring because it's nice and cheap but it's also a really heavy weight I mean it is watercolor paper and so it's like you know a hundred plus pound which is what you need so um, this is like $9.95 and this is another one I got on Amazon so we'll add this to our list um, Michaels does have that in store, but that's one that is more expensive at Michaels. So I suggest doing that one um, through Amazon. And that's the thing, I've kind of done my research and found out what is cheaper to get through Michaels and what is cheaper to get on Amazon. So you won't have to go and compare prices. So our Canson, Canson watercolor paper and that size that I looked up on Amazon was 11 by 15 inch and it comes with 30 sheets. So that's nice with that. One thing that I do get, and this is kind of an optional thing, but um, it is something I use pretty regularly, and that is having painter's tape. This you can get at like even Home Depot. So um, I will put a link to it on Amazon. Amazon has it cheaper than Michael's, um, and so Amazon beats Michael's on that price point. But that is so nice to be able to tape off your paintings and then have a nice clean edge at the end. So this is something I do suggest getting. And last but not least is brushes. So right now, Michaels has this brush, which is a 3 4 inch um, flat brush. This is like where you were gonna use this for like washes. I think I used this one um, when, we're, when I was doing the value scale. I'll link that video right here. Um, but I love having a big brush to do washes with. This is normally like a $22, $23 brush and Amazon, not Amazon, Michaels has this on clearance for $5, which is just insane. So I'm actually gonna go and buy another one because I've never seen um, a brush this cheap. This is like the level, so Michaels has their like level one, level two, level three brushes as far as like the quality of them. This is a level three brush. This is a nice professional brush where you're not gonna be losing bristles when you're painting. That is probably, the one place you don't wanna go cheap with is brushes because if you go cheap with brushes and you're losing bristles and it's not holding the water well, you're gonna be frustrated and you're gonna just wanna be done with watercolor because of your supplies. So 
if anywhere, don't go cheap with brushes. Um, so we've got three fourths inch and then I also have on this list is two round brushes and these are kind of like my workhorses. I use them for everything. I have a bigger size and a smaller size. Smaller size for your details, bigger sizes, you know, for your less detailed, bigger washes and stuff like that. So I suggest getting um, on this list, I'm gonna put like a size 10 is good, is big enough. This is like a size 14. It's a little bit bigger. It might be a little bit harder if you're just starting out, but size 10, 12 or 14 for your bigger brush. And then for your smaller detailed brush, I suggest a size three. Um, this is a size four and I can't, I usually want to get a little bit more detailed. And then I think I have a three somewhere else. So I suggest getting a size three round brush for that. And these guys were all Michaels. Right now, these two is buy one, get one 50% off. So this one, your bigger size is like $10.99 if you get a size 10. And then the size three is the get the 50% off. So then this one's only like $3.25, something like that. So pretty good deal on your brushes. And these will get you going and being able to do pretty much almost anything you're wanting to do with watercolor. Three pretty good size brushes. Um, and that's it. All of that, we're at $50. And the nice thing about all of this supplies is it is gonna, some of it's gonna last you years. Your palette's gonna last you years and years. Your brushes are gonna last you years and years. The only thing that you're really gonna have to rebuy after a month or two is gonna be your paper and maybe your tape after like three or four months. So the nice thing about watercolors is they do last forever and you can get started for about $50 versus acrylics a little bit harder with how much you have to spend on each tube of paint and stuff like that. So I hope this helps and was able to answer so many of your guys' questions on what's the best supplies to get, especially if you're just starting out and the prices right now and all this stuff is really, really good. So good luck. Let me know if you guys end up getting some of this stuff and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.